Dean Williamson, 1373, asked a great question on one of our YouTube videos, and I wanted to answer it here just so that maybe other people could find it and, and it would be helpful. His question was, what do you consider the maximum safe temperature is for the cooling system while tracking your Subaru EJ257, which is you know, basically an STI, WRX, an EJ-based engine? Great question. It seems like it would have a simple answer, and it kind of does, but it's more, there's, it's more complex than it would seem on the outside. When you're looking at the cooling system, there's kind of two thresholds you want to keep in mind. The first is the boiling point of whatever fluid you have in the cooling system, water, glycol-based coolant, whatever. You want to stay well away from that boiling point let's say 10 to 20 degrees below that at, a, at an absolute max. And the reason for that is because if the coolant temp sensor, which is sitting on top of the engine, is, is getting close to that boiling point, there's a very reasonable chance that there's some point deep inside the engine that is hotter than that, getting much closer to that boiling point, maybe past that point where you're gonna have, start to have some like micro boiling going on inside the engine. So the closer you get to that boiling point where the sensor is reading, the closer you are to kind of a runaway overheat situation in the engine. So you wanna stay well away from that. The other number to keep in mind is the point where the fans turn on, about 206, 210 degrees, uh, in most of these cars. That is the point where the OEs have said, well, we don't want the cooling system to get hotter than this. So that's where we're gonna you know, pull out all the stops, turn on the fans, try and keep everything cooler than that temperature. And so like, if you can keep your car on track and drive it and stay below that say 210 degree threshold, that's great. Everything's going well, the, the cars are in great. And it's, it's, it's definitely possible to do on you know, stock, lightly modified, sometimes even moderately modified cars with you know, everything, all the cooling system working properly. Realistically, especially as you, as you get more and more modified and make more power, realistically, you're probably gonna get a little bit hotter than that, maybe 220. Uh, I'd say kind of 220 is like the, the upper comfort point. As long as you get up to 220 and that's a stable temperature, that's probably okay because again, that should be well away from the boiling point of, of the cooling system. But you know, this is where you know data collection and experience comes in because the other part of this is you want to drive the car, try and collect some data and get an idea of what is normal for your car because what you're really looking out for here is something that is un unusual, abnormal, a spike in temperature. Because if you know that, okay, every time I go out on track, I'm at 215, and then now you're 225, something has changed. That's a cue to come, come back in, check over everything, look at, look at your radiator caps, check out your radiator. Is there something that's stuck in the radiator, something else that's gone on with the cooling system? That's a good prompt to go in there and check everything out. Uh, also worth mentioning here at the end is direct injected cars are a little extra complication here in that they generally run hotter oil and coolant temperatures. So there again, you want to kind of drive the car, get an idea for what is normal in like hot summer driving, maybe driving up in the mountains under high load, and then go on to track and just see how close it is to that. Again, great question. And you know, thanks very much for watching. And until next time, stay tuned to Flatirons Tune.